Hello everyone, it's Maria Russell here with you today and I am back to share with you my design team package from Cat Scrappiness and also to show you some of the items that I picked up recently. So the first one is called swatches and you can use this to swatch your inks or you can even use these for mirror stamping, if you have a really small stamp set, you can do a mirror stamping. If you go to Jennifer McGuire's website, you will be able to download this and print it so that you can swatch your inks and you can use this stamp set. It's perfect for that. So I can't wait to get started with my Distress Oxide inks using this swatches stamp set. The next one that I wanted to show you is the sentiment die. This is Hello My Crafty Friend and it's pretty decent size as you can tell. So I can't wait to use this for my project and I will have a video coming up using this die. And then the next one is called Envelope Art and this is the owl. There's also another one which is the giraffe but I was not able to get it in time and she forgot to send it to me so I'll show you that on the next video. This is a really cute stamp set. It features this owl with this birdhouse and a small owl. Happy mail and please deliver to in all caps and then a script one please deliver to and happy mail and then the two in the from and three flowers another to and from in all caps and I really love this this is a 4 by 6 stamp set and let me show you two samples I use this stamp set to create this envelope art and I stamped this I actually created the envelope using my envelope punch board and then I stamped the image and then colored it with my Copic markers also stencil the clouds background. It's really cute. So this is perfect to decorate your envelopes which is a huge trend right now and I stamped the from script here. I thought this turned out really cute so that's the envelope and then I also wanted to use this stamp set for a card so I created this card with the same design but this time when I stenciled the background I used my favorite color combination which is the antique linen and tattered rose distress oxide inks and I stenciled the background really love those colors so I colored the images as well with my Copic markers and then in case you're wondering what dye I use for this one this is the new lawn fawn little frames or something like that everything will be linked in the description box below so don't worry about it this is what I use to create that little window for the birdhouse and don't forget to check out Gat Scrappiness because she has her dies which are amazing and they are very affordable as well as the stamp set but she also sells other stamps and dies and other craft supplies like Lawn Fawn for example they are already discounted and if you use my coupon code MARIA10 then you will also get 10% off your order. The next one that I have is this new coffee die and it's pretty decent size as you can tell. Really cute and if you go to Cat Scrappiness I'm sure she's already posted some samples for you guys to see but I will also post another video showcasing these dies so stay tuned for that. And then the next one is the Got Coffee because it goes well with this die set. It's about three and a half inches long and about an inch tall. So that goes so well together and stay tuned for that video because I will be using these dies together. And then to go with this coffee die I also ordered this Sugar Pea Designs stamp set and I'm not sure what this is called but of course everything will be linked in the description box below and this will go well with the coffee dye. It says because adulting is hard, coffee and friends the perfect blend because it's too early for wine. I thought that was a really cute sentiment because I love wine. Some girls want to have fun, I just want to have and then you can put coffee and then caffeine just for you maybe she's born with it maybe it's coffee and this coffee tree is so cute 
So I thought that will go well together with this coffee dye as well. And then I also ordered this dye from Sugar Pea Designs and I really love that so I can't wait to create a project using this dye. And then the last one that I got is really cute. This is the new embossing folder. It's by Doris and it's like cat heads. So that's what it looks like when you emboss your card stock. I thought that's really unique and cute. So that's about it. That's my haul for you today. If you guys would like to check out the shop, don't forget to use my coupon code MARIA10 for 10% off your order. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now and happy crafting!